Hi, Barry Drennan with Fairburn Protocol H2H. I'd like to discuss a little bit the concept of a chin jab. Here at uh, Fairburn Protocol H2H, we prefer to do what we call pure technique. By pure technique, what we mean is exactly what William Ewart Fairburn taught. In the case of the chin jab, there's a lot of controversy that goes on around this and what is and what isn't the, the proper method. And there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of people who've modified it over time, presented it differently, and these things get mixed into the pie and cause that confusion. If we go to Fairburn, we find out that chin jab, primarily delivered, he talks about six to eight inches of rapid acceleration to the other side of the chin, causing a massive acceleration to the back of the head, accelerating that brain, and getting that head char. In the same token, he talks about, at separate points, and talks about coming from the floor up. Here, he brings power into the equation, but maintains that same vertical drive, catching the chin under the top, uh, underneath the chin, and, and putting the head backwards. This is very vital because of the way it acts on the head and the way it acts on the body. Excellent for the opportunity of knockout. What people get confused with is, is situations such as those put forward by Sergeant John Styers, where John Styers uses the chin jab but raises the elbow as if a rudder, applying power and redirecting the power into the head, forcing the head backwards. Very good for takedowns and knocking people backwards. This is this has a very good advantage. It's a very good methodology, but it's not pure Fairburn. Fairburn doesn't do this. The other thing that we do see with Fairburn that came out later in the gunfighting fighting films that he produced in World War II that we got a hold of a few years back was that he actually delivers the chin jab from the side, almost in a hooking fashion, again causing that rapid acceleration of the head. So the consistency throughout the chin jabs go back and forth, but they go back and forth within that same concept of the, the rapid acceleration of the brain. This is, of course, the, the key to knockouts, even with, with, with punches. One of the other things associated directly with the, the chin jab is the position of the fingers. In, in Fairburn's case, he does not always use them. In some cases, he does, though, and when he does, he completes the chin jab, continues with the chin jab, and the hand comes over the top, inserting the fingers into the eyes. It's the pressure in the eyes, the gouging of the eyes, that then helps you force the person into rearward position, for example, or in some cases, uh, like he does with a, a firearm disarm, uh, as a takedown. So this is what we call pure Fairburn, and this is what we apply. The gentleman has a lot of experience, a lot of history, a lot of domination in that world. They don't call him the father of modern hand-to-hand -hand combat for no reason. So I prefer to catch you with that, keep with that, and uh, maintain that purity. Thank you for your time.